Hello friends, how is everybody doing? Silvio here. I will start this video by showing this beautiful little French pipe that I got as a gift from my friend Gabriel from Romania, a Romanian friend. Thank you very much, Gabriel. It has six panels. It's a panel pipe, extremely light. Beautiful, called Jean Tet. Jean Tet is a very old French company. It has very beautiful sandblasting. Mm, very nice. Small and light. My type of pipe. In today's video, I will uh, smoke Robert McConnell Scottish Flake. One of my stables in my uh, uh, how do you call it? One of my favorite tobaccos to smoke every day. So I don't consider it a great, very special tobacco, but it's special because it's simple and nice and not too aromatic and uh, it's very good. Robert McConnell Scottish Flake. You know that till this day my favorite Latakia Flake tobacco is Robert McConnell Latakia Flake. Beautiful tobacco. So this is the Scottish Flake. Very nice modern flakes, not like Samuel Gowitt. You can fold and stuff them. Kentucky, Virginia and Perik. What is very nice about Latakia Flake, it's the combination, the blend. It's made out of Kentucky, Cavendish and Latakia, which you don't find every day. Look at this beauty. Today I will smoke this Tyrolean pipe that I got from Mr. Yanis. Today I just found out that you can remove this to clean the pipe okay so you can clean under the smoking chamber it has a wind cap which is very great for uh, smoking outside this piece of cherry wood it's very absorbent very it does a great job and it has a vulcanite stem a round stem as you can see this is removable. It's very great for cleaning. It's really made well. You can really deep clean it. And it has a piece of wire with two very nice wooden things. So you won't lose the shank. See? very nice pipe this is called a Tyrolean pipe it's a European pipe okay let us begin I think that the actual chamber it's made out of so the pipe is made out of briar. It says here Bruyere guarantee, meaning guarantee to be briar. And uh, the ball, it's either metal or, uh, and I'm pretty sure it's metal. You know, I always said that as long as the pipe makes fire here and uh, has a tube for you to puff the smoke it doesn't matter it's it's a good smoker i don't believe in uh, better smoking pipes i mean if they're made reasonable well to me great briar it's light briar a briar that looks great it's light 
and it's very absorbent but nothing else that is what great briar is to me i don't believe in magical briar that make the pipe smoke uh, smoke magically or no and i had over 200 pipes See, metal ball, but it's good as any other pipe. It works very well. I love it. Great tobacco. So you know, know I have a pretty big collection of pipes. I have six downhills and uh, some other great brands. Believe me, there is no difference. So as long as it makes smoke, a fire here, and you can puff the burning tobacco, puff the smoke of the burning tobacco to me the most important part of a pipe it's the stem the mouthpiece that takes the longest time to make and it's the part that it's always in contact with you so to me, a great pipe has a great uh, mouthpiece. I don't like plastic stems. I always prefer vulcanite because it's absorbent, just like the briar. And uh, it's uh, uh, more rubbery, better for your teeth. So a great pipe for me it has beautiful looking briar it is good briar meaning it's light it's absorbent porous so it uh, dissipates the heat very fast it absorbs the moisture it has a great uh, well-made mouthpiece from vulcanite which is also absorbent so it helps with the gurgling problem Plastic is not absorbent at all, so you have more gurgling in a pipe with an acrylic stem. But that is just my preference, it doesn't mean anything if you don't care about these things. Yeah. It looks lovely. Again, thank you, Mr. Yanis, for this wonderful gift. It has a nice stack here, metal stack. I love it. It's small enough. It's vintage, it's original.
a real Tyrolean pipe. Okay, so the tobacco. Robert McConnell Scottish Flake. One of my favorite in my rotation. I smoke it for the longest time. Robert McConnell Scottish Flake and Robert McConnell Latakia Flake are a stable in my rotation for more than 10 years. So Scottish Flake, it's a Virginia, Kentucky Peric. By the way, on uh, tobacco reviews, there is a guy, Mr. Jinxy, who has over 3,000 uh, how do you call it? Tobacco reviews. I mean, the guy is full of shit. Who is Mr. Jinxy? I really want to know who Mr. Jinxy is, so I can tell him in his face. That is full of shit. So, Mr. Jinxie, are you out there? Three thousand reviews in ten years or eight years, I can't remember now. Boy, there's a lot of liars out there. Any review I want to, any tobacco I want to see, doesn't matter if it's made in Congo, in Bolivia, it doesn't matter. You will find his review there. I think this motherfucker just reads the description, the thin description, and just makes up a fucking review. You know? I'm pretty sure because I've seen uh, typo or mistakes in the description of the tobacco, like, let's say the tobacco has whiskey. They put there, it has whiskey, but the, it is a mistake. It doesn't have whiskey. And yet, he review, reviews it as if it has whiskey. Let's say I'm taking a, an example. Like, a blend, it's written there that it has Cavendish, but actually it doesn't have Cavendish. But he talks about how great the Cavendish is inside the blend, so... I really want to know who this Mr. Jinx is. Simple, nice blend. Scottish Flake. Burns very well. Medium strength. Pretty refreshing. Not very sweet. It has a little bit of sweetness. A little bit of tanginess, fruity. It's very satisfying. I love this pipe. Thank you guys. See you on the next one. I send you all my love.